honestly do not want to even be filming this. I look a mess. <laughs> I am a mess. I feel a mess. But I just, I feel like God is leading me to say this. I finally had my breakdown and I felt it, you know. I just didn't know or couldn't, I just couldn't let it out. Like, I don't know, I just, I felt it coming with so many emotions, so much anger, um, sadness, grief. I felt all those things, but I, it just didn't come up. You know, um, cause I guess I was just more so in survival mode. Um, and this is bigger. This is so much bigger than my marriage ending. Um, this is just a breakdown over my whole life. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna post this because it's so hard. To be vulnerable to people like thousands of people people you don't know but i just honestly feel like it this needs to be said because what i've been feeling lately is so much bigger than me it's so much bigger than what i'm going through um i just i had a breakdown not just about you know what's been happening in my life lately of course it's it all ties in to everything but more so like a, a ancestral breakdown like a a heaviness oh, i have been on a spiritual awakening um and as freeing as it is nobody tells you how hard it is because when you open when you've been closed in for so long because i truly did like close myself up because i had a spiritual awakening before i'm talking i'm telling y'all this this goes deep okay just listen because god is real god is moving god is just it, like just tap into your spirit, man. It's <sighs> anyway. I had a spiritual awakening back when I was like 18, and I just really, you know, I spent a lot of time by myself. That's when I was, you know, I moved to a new school. I was getting to know myself, and I just had a lot of alone time. I just, you know, I didn't really have a lot of friends at the new school, so I was able to be by myself. And that allowed me to spend more time with God, you know, on the bus. I would just be, I was really into writing at the time. So I would like just be writing, listening to my music. And I was just really getting in tune with my spirit. I didn't know who I was before. But when I turned about 17, 18, um, like my senior year of high school, I really got into touch, you know, in touch with myself and in, with my spirit and with God. And that awakening for me, it really was so freeing. Like, I felt so good. I felt the best I've ever felt in my life. It was just beautiful. Like, I just was like, oh my God, like this is, you know, like this is life, like this is me, this is God, like this is amazing. And um, with that, I, I wasn't, <sighs> how do I say this? Cause I don't want to be offensive to religion, but, I'm gonna just keep it real. I I feel like, you know, that spiritual awakening for me, um, you know, I, I was in the church and everything in Christianity, but I feel like I allowed certain aspects of religion to like overshadow like the church culture, the the Christian culture, the religion, you know, the rules and everything. I just allowed that to kind of overshadow my walk. I allowed it to overshadow, you know, my true spiritual. I just started to feel 
more trapped it's like what happened to that feeling like i was feeling so free and you know like and now i'm feeling i'm becoming somebody i don't like you know and i i know that that was energy dark energy trying to get me away from that because i went through a period of where i didn't believe in god no more i didn't want that no more because i associated it with the negative things that i went through in religion so i associated that with god and i was like i don't even want to believe in god no more i was faithless for a little bit and i i know that that was the enemy just like shutting me up and trying to shut down my spirit and because i was becoming you know i was coming out to this this new freedom and it's like even the things that you you think like religion that's why i said i don't want to seem like i'm bashing religion but i associated everything with my religion at that time and that dark energy used that to like you know what i'm saying infiltrated that used that to tear me down and pull me away from my own spirit pull me away from god and i allowed that to happen i mean that's just what i went through I was very naive at the time. You know, I'm 18, I'm young, I'm still discovering life. And so I definitely, um, I just was scared. I just, you know, I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't know how to fight. I didn't know how to protect myself. I didn't know how to protect my spirit. I didn't, you know, I just was very confused. And so I think that was the start of me like closing myself in and i've never been a closed person that's why a lot of people are kind of like oh like surprised now to like really see me for who i am and me for who i am is who i am okay god loves me as i am um you believe what you believe you believe god your god how you believe but me god loves me exactly how i am cussing and all okay but that's besides the point i just went through a period in my life where I just shut down. I just shut down my spirit. I kind of just tried to live life regularly. Like I didn't want to be tapped into my spirit no more for some reason because I, like I said, I, I just felt confused. That was that dark energy pulling me, trying to pull me off my path. I absolutely know it was. So I just went into like a shell. Like I just shut myself down. Like, and then different things in my life started to shut me down and I just, became like you i just was like okay like you know this is my life like i i just accepted it i accepted not really tapping into my heart and tapping into my spirit and i just accepted 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 and just lived like a life on autopilot like that's why I, when i say like i'm coming off autopilot like because i'm at another spiritual awakening so i i spent those years just cruising through life <laughs> um accepting less than what i should have been accepting um accepting less for myself accepting just you know not really caring too much not really tapping into my spirit not really i was just vibrating really really low like the lowest that you could go i feel like that's where i was vibrating i was just playing life safe i was not i wasn't open to anything i was just I, my my energy was just so low it's not until recently recently i've been going through a new spiritual awakening it's like when god be like tapping you you know what i'm saying like you just can't ignore it it's it just and especially when you decide when you decide because we all have a choice we all have choices you can do whatever you want to do in your life but we all have choices and i feel like when you choose to tap into your spirit and you really choose to discover self and you really choose to discover god and you really choose to like be open to what like spirit is because i mean life is life like we live and die but like what is your spirit what moves you what guides you what are you so and when you choose to tap into that boom like it's life is just it you know like it's just so uh like that's where i'm at again you know going through another spiritual awakening but this time um it's really really hard um because this spiritual awakening is it has opened up so much in my life 
like more than just oh i feel free i feel good and i do feel all those things like when i come on here saying i feel so good and i'm so happy it's because i genuinely am but i i, I really want to be transparent about the other side of that because as good and as happy as i feel that i'm going through the spiritual awakening that i that i have clarity and that you know I'm finally at a place of where I, I feel strong again. I can stand up for myself and in my life and just be who I am and all of that. There's so much heaviness. It's so much that I am going through and have had to go through and am still going through with this awakening. Like it's so much sad sadness. It's so much heaviness. It's so much anger. So much. It's just so much, it's so much. If y'all believe in prayer, please pray for me because it is so much that I am going through. And I feel like God has equipped me to be strong enough to deal with it. And I definitely understand now um, why you have to go through those things and why you have to feel those things to really truly get to that other side. But it's extremely hard. I feel like too, um, with this awakening, awakening that I'm going through, it is a part of like a major shift. And if you catch this message, you catch it. If you don't, you don't. But there is a major shift going on, a major. It's not just me. Um, that's why I say it's so much bigger than me. It's not just me. This is, oh my God. This is coming from generational curses. This is coming from our ancestors. This is coming from such a big like you really have to jump in like you really got to jump in and because it's just a it's a major shift going on god is moving and awakening so many of us awakening our spirits tapping on our spirits you don't have to wake up if you don't want to but god is really calling so many of us tapping us to to just hey you need to wake up. You need to be alive cuz you need to see what's going on. You need to hear what's going on. You need to be you need to you need to be here right now. You need to rise up. And it's just I feel like I maybe it's just me, but my spirit waking up, it comes with so much. My energy has always been um empath like i've always just felt so much like it could be something like i don't even know the person i just always had a spirit where i can feel others energy and i'm still trying to learn how to deal with that because i don't really know what to do with it but um this this big awakening and shift that i'm going through it just comes from generational curses the cycles it comes from ans my ancestors like i was having a talk with some amazing beautiful women and we were talking about like we was on clubhouse we were supposed to be talking about our 2021 goals but it kind of dipped into like spirituality and i feel like god really like put me in the path of so many beautiful women like recently in my life that's another conversation for another day but i'm so thankful to have beautiful spiritual amazing women in my life but we kind of start talking about spirit and something that they said about ancestors like it was crazy and a lot of people probably gonna look at me like i'm crazy but like i felt that spirit like it was like what is that instrument where you like bang it and it's like a ding like something literally struck me like it i felt it i felt something strike my spirit like that instrument like ding. and i felt like a bunch of pain it wasn't like physical pain, but it was just heart pain. It was a lot of heartache that I felt from an ancestor. And a lot of people may not believe that. A lot of people may not, you know, mm, but I, that's just what I, that's just always how I, even back when I was 18, I could feel things. And we were talking about like, the things we go through is not just for us. The things we go through and that we're called to wake up from it's generational cycles and curses and all of that and things we have to heal from not just for us but for our children and for generations to come like this is our responsibility to like he actually really heal 
healing is hard like healing is beautiful healing is trying to get you to a place of better you know but healing is so hard um and don't nobody talk about that part but healing can be very ugly healing can be very just scary um and that's where i'm at i just i'm i'm just i'm trying to be patient i'm just trying to heal through so much um through so many generational curses that i know is my responsibility to break and to heal from and to not continue and not pass on um and it's, it's heavy it's just heavy i know i can get through it but it's just really heavy shout out to my sister because she sent me a song and said that she think about me when she listened to that song and i listened to that song i never heard the song before i listened to it and i just broke down like that's what i literally needed i needed to just stop you know i've been going and going and going you know moving and then you know and i feel like too me moving here was a mistake on my part because i knew like your spirit is just living in your spirit is everything living in your truth and in your spirit is literally everything because i knew not to move here um it was something already pulling me back from living here and i chose to ignore it because i'm still working on that listening to god and listening to my intuition i'm still working on that but it was definitely like i was even a day late signing my lease because i just something told me not to move here but i'm hard-headed i'm aries okay and i don't listen i'm that little baby that don't listen but you know god is still working on me and i i didn't listen to it and then i moved here you know and y'all see what's going on i've been living here for what three weeks and i you know discovered it was a roach problem and i have to leave and that's what was trying to keep me from all of this stress, this added stress, because I'm supposed to be focusing on a break, a breakthrough. I'm supposed to be focusing on healing. And then this added stress of like moving, it's like it's trying to distract me. And I allowed it to distract me because I didn't listen to my intuition. Honestly, I'm so happy that I did go through this breakdown because I needed it. I was just like pushing through, pushing through survival mode, like, strong strength all of that listen strength i'm learning that strength is not just oh i can do it i can do it i can do it i can do it strength is recognizing when you can't do it like strength is surrendering strength is like just giving up like giving up the fight like give it up sis like you don't have to that's not what strong is Sometimes we can be so strong, we become like stupid. Like, <laughs> you're being stupid, like trying to do all of this by yourself. You're being stupid, trying to just act like you okay, you're not, like you're hurting yourself. That's for me, I'm, you know, that's a message to me. Like, when you start to, to hurt yourself because, oh, I'm so strong and I got it and nothing's wrong with me, that's stupid. Like, I, Tierra, it's okay to not be okay. And right now, I'm not okay. And I just gotta let that be. I gotta cry. I have to go through. I have to and want to be transparent about that to y'all because it, you know, it's not easy. I gotta take off the the armor um, and kind of just rest for a while and let myself be broken down because I definitely am. But you have to be, you have to allow God to break you in order to build you back up just let it go be broke like it's fine you don't have to keep this cute little picture like <laughs> me i didn't even want to do this video because i'm looking crazy looking busted i ain't even swoop my baby hair honey ain't got no earrings i've been crying probably snot up in my nose like you know i didn't even want to make this video because it's not cute you know but let things not be cute girl let the picture go like this social media shit that's another conversation for another day too but girl everything is not pretty like real healing real strength is not pretty it's not cute it's ugly it's messy it's it is so much like with it like let it go let it be what it is you have to be broken down to be built back up and that's what i'm learning so i'm broken i'm here god 
I allow myself to face these things that I have to face. And it goes deep, y'all. It goes deep. Um, but I'm ready for my journey. I'm ready to really, really, really be in my journey and not just shallow, like, oh, you know, no, I'm ready to be in it. Got some real weight on my heart. I just have some real life healing and inner work to do. And with that, you just gotta be a mess. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Why? Today is Tuesday. I moved Friday. And I literally hardly have anything packed. Today I had to sleep. Um, I am sick. Like this is just a uh, perfect timing to be sick. No, I do not have corona. I just got a cold. What the hell is that? I'm just coming down with a cold because it has been rainy and just freezing here like 30. 40 degrees it's just been so cold i could already feel it coming on like in my throat but now it's just like i'm blowing my nose like crazy like last night i had the worst like i've never had my head feel like this like it felt like it was just about to explode like i just i couldn't even like open my eyes my head was hurting so bad and um it, i think it was just like a lot of sinus pressure or something i had to get in the shower like take a extremely hot shower and let the water just you know tap on my head and my neck because it was just so like i just felt like something was about to freaking blow in my head i was just crying i was in so much pain like it was just absolutely horrible my nose was just leaking like ugh, i really hate being sick so i've been taking my emergency which did help a lot little emergency packets i thought i got the tablets but i got the little fizzy drink which actually really helped me out this morning and i just had to go to sleep i can't be sitting around here sick like i just cannot afford to be sick this is moving week let me speaking of moving week let me just show y'all what i got packed <laughs> barely nothing right i got all like the decorations and stuff i saved my boxes which is so like that was definitely my intuition because something was telling me like girl saved in boxes so i had saved my boxes and put them out there in my storage and don't worry i already like looked in all the boxes and i like tapped them out i made sure nothing was in here but about the little roach problem honey now look at this now look what i look what look what has happened now and this is just the least of it honey this apartment is so nasty i'm so ready to go ants it's like after they came and sprayed for the roaches they summoned all the ants and they friends and all the earwigs too i had to clean them up this this is what it looks like after it's been cleaned after another night they they keep coming out but all along the here were just black black pellets everywhere and they coming from in here can't really see it but this is the um you know water heater room or whatever y'all can't see the floor but it's black pellets everywhere and they was coming from in here it was just a bunch of ants just all up in there i'm so sick of this apartment i am so ready to go so this is what I got. I did get the boys room packed as far as their toys and clothes. I cleared their closet out. They still got, you know, stuff. I still got to take down the bed. Oh my God. Zara's room. I'm not even close. I haven't even touched her room yet. So I got to get in there. I did take all the stuff out the bathroom cabinet. So I was supposed to pack all that today, but that's it. That is all I have packed. Honey, I got to do the kitchen. Um, <laughs> I gotta do everything. I have to do my room. My room is a mess. Um, I still have to fold my clothes that's sitting over there in the baskets, honey. I just have a lot to do.
just speak life. I speak abundance. I speak peace. I speak health. I speak wealth. I speak stability. I speak peace. I speak joy. I speak happiness. And I speak over this apartment, Lord, my new apartment that I'm walking into, that it just be filled with love, filled with light, filled with uh, peace, filled with spirit, sp filled with hope, filled with me. This apartment is going to be bomb. I'm going to love it. I'm not going to run into issues. I'm not going to be sad. I'm not going to be depressed. I'm not going to be stressed. I'm going to be living my best life in my new apartment. This time of my life, this spot is going to be for me. It's going to be for my children. It's going to serve its purpose to its fullest capability. This apartment ain't going to have no roaches. Uh-huh. This apartment is going to be clean, luxury. It's just going to be giving me life. It's going to be motivating me to just keep going. It's going to motivate me to keep pressing higher. This apartment is going to be filled, just feel, feel, feel. This apartment is gonna be late, okay? Thank you so much, God. Thank you. Thank you. You my Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah, bless. I just wanna win. It's rent money, honey, and I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful because I caught this apartment on a special okay i got my apartment for a discount honey y'all know when apartments be running like monthly specials so i got my first two months for half off which is amazing like it's such a blessing because i had to spend so much money moving the first time and then i have to spend money moving again like you know packing all my stuff again hiring movers having to pay rent again so it's just such a blessing that i did you know i was able to get you know, I'm saying fifty percent off rent. So this really like it's a, it's a blessing. I'm looking at I'm trying to look at the the positive side of things because I've been feeling so down this week. I have been so like I I haven't really vlogged this week because I've just been feeling extremely down, like just low, very low. Like oh my god, I ain't felt this low in a minute. But I have been feeling so low. On top of being sick, I was really sick this week with a cold. The cold tried to take me out, but I got my butt up and you know. I knocked that cold out real quick, so I'm feeling better. Um, but just on top of, like, my emotions and my spirit and the stress of moving, I was feeling so down this week. But I decided to turn that around. I just decided that I control what's around me. I control my mindset. I control, you know, I can't control the things I go through. None of us, we can't. We can't control none of that we can't control life we can't control bad shit happening like we cannot control those things to a point we can because if i would have listened like i was saying at the beginning honey if i would have listened to my to god to my intuition about not moving into this apartment i wouldn't have been going through this but you know what i'm saying we all human we make mistakes but you can still choose how to look at the situation either look at that cup half empty or half full and i've been looking at it half empty and i've just been like oh my god oh my god oh my god but i'm like you know what i gotta turn my attitude around because it is what it is like you being all moping in your misery is not gonna change anything so just change how you look at it like you can't change nothing the things you can't change just give in to them give it to them and choose peace choose happiness choose joy choose to look at that cup half full because it is half full my cup is being fed and this is just I'm at a transition. I'm at a I'm at a breakthrough. When you feel like giving up and feeling like you can't go on, this is your breakthrough. Like this is this is your breakthrough. Okay? Like this is the point. This, this is where I live. This is where I thrive. This is where I grow. This is where I come out of that shell. This is where I I come out of that cocoon. I blossom into my butterfly. Like this is it. So that's how I'm choosing to look at my life right now, to look at this week, to look at this situation and just making the best of it. Let me go in here. Today's moving day. I'm so happy that moving day is finally here. I can't wait to get it over with, but I'm looking at it in a positive light. I cannot wait to get into my new apartment. I'm really excited. So yeah, we're gonna go in here. Let's get this money on her, okay? Get my rent paid and whew, get a move on. So, uh, I'm too blessed to be stressed, but I honestly, <laughs> I honestly feel like God is testing me or something because as soon as I'm preaching, 
trying to encourage myself. Girl. So why this person almost just hit me in the park lot? And then I go into Kroger. And the, the, the customer place is closed, so I can't even buy my money order. <laughs> what is going on? You know what? I'm not going to ask no questions. I'm not. Because guess what? It don't even matter. Things I can't control. I didn't get hit. He didn't hit me. And I can always go to another Kroger. So it's okay. It's fine. Oh, all right. So when you look better, you feel better. So I got myself freshened up a little bit. I had to take me a whole bath. Okay. And just, you know, feel better so I can have a productive movie day. But I am about to end this vlog, y'all. This is another moving chaotic moving vlog i hope y'all is enjoying these because lord this is just my life at the moment yeah i'm about to find a different kroger to get my money order and i'm about to go get my keys to my new apartment so i'm excited i'm looking forward to my new beginning once again okay we, this is my last time doing this so that is it y'all i'm gonna show y'all a last little look at my this apartment i won't even call it mine because this was never supposed to be mine okay it, girl, I'm gonna just show y'all last little look at this apartment. Everything is, you know, packed up and ready to go. Uh, this week took a lot out of me. Um, this week was hard for me. This is one of the hardest weeks I've had in a long time. I had some breakdowns. Like, it's just been really, really stressful. I had stress with the go, going to pick up my U-Haul. It's just been a lot this week, but um, like I said, positive note, glass is half full, and we're going to keep it pushing, and I'm going to go get my cute little apartment, okay, because it's really cute. It's uh, Y'all going to have a real, for real, empty apartment tour this time, so that video will be coming up next, but let me stop running my mouth. I am running low on time. So let me give y'all a final look at my apartment that I lived in for like three weeks. Ah! So here's my room all packed back down kitchen got everything done y'all i'm so proud of myself oh my god damn it i gotta unscrew the damn table lord i ain't get everything done but for the most part i got everything ready to go rooms back here kids room Whew. just put all this stuff up and now it's headed back out i gotta pick up them toys but yeah, that's it. Bathrooms are all cleared out and we out. I'm not gonna miss you.